Hello again, you are watching today on ENC ATS TV channel 43. Now to health matters. COVID-19 is still very much with us. Scientists have warned the country could see a new dangerous strain of COVID-19 emerge. A report by the Africa Institute for Health Research shows that coronavirus is still able to mutate and may produce a more vicious version in the future. At the moment, the country has over 9,000 active coronavirus cases. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by UKZN Professor Musa Mushabela. He's joining us virtually this afternoon from Cape Town. Prof, uh, good afternoon. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about this new variant, or is it the ability of the virus when it's in our body to mutate that will pre produce or likely produce a more virulent strain? Good afternoon. Um, yes, so in terms of the work that was done by the Africa Health Research Institute, they were demonstrating that in people whose uh, immune system is weak, say, for example, people who have HIV, uh, because their immune system is weak, they are not able to clear the virus easily. And because of that, the virus is able to stay in their bodies for much longer. And when it does, then we have a situation whereby it can mutate. And when it does mutate, it is able to evade the immune system. And when that happens, then it means then that uh, it can even have the opportunity to evolve into a more um, dangerous strain uh, or variant. But we don't, it doesn't mean that this will happen in the general population. It is basically the potential for the virus to be able to imitate, to mutate that they are speaking to. At the moment, we don't necessarily have a strain that is uh, virulent or that is able to evade our immune system. Uh, this is just basically the sublineages of uh, Omicron that we are faced with. But the study is demonstrating that in people with a weak immune system, um, the, the virus can mutate, which is also why those people need to make sure that they are put on, on treatment, antiretroviral treatment, so that their immune yeah. system can be, can be strong. Vaccination would help? Uh, vaccination would help even in people with, uh, the, with HIV. But again, the issue is uh, for as long as their immune system is weak, they are not able to uh, develop enough immune response to to the virus even with vaccination which is why because their immune system is really preoccupied with hiv which is why it's better to control the hiv make sure that the hiv viral load is suppressed and when you have that you are able to free up the immune system to be able to to effectively fight um, the the covid 19 virus when it's in the body that's really what we would like to see. Hence, all people with HIV, it's really important that their own treatment and their viral loads are, are suppressed. Yeah, so that they can avoid that challenge. But the, the research that was done, uh, does it indicate that such an eventuality could spread beyond people whose immune system is compromised? Uh, no, it does not indicate that. Um, it, it Simply what it does indicate is that the, the virus is capable of mutating. We already know this, um, which is not new. But, uh, you know, if we have um, the virus mutating, it is a bit risky that, yes, in, at some point, even though the chances are small, there is a risk that, you know, we could end up with a more serious uh, uh, variant that might actually go into immune uh, into people who don't have uh, uh, immune suppression but the chances are very small um, and we don't know for sure if that will happen I think what's really important is that uh, right now what we have in front of us is that generally uh, the population in South Africa uh, at a population level we've been able to contain uh, the, the, the the variants that we, we've had um, and uh, we are hoping that that will continue. But uh, the, the fact that the virus is capable of mutating is something that we know, and we do have to make sure that we don't uh, create conditions for the virus to continue to mutate. That is a responsibility that, that we have. But we don't necessarily have to live in fear that uh, we, we could have a strain uh, moving around. We just need to continue to do the monitoring, the surveillance that we are currently doing 
so that if it does come up, we are able to pick it up. But uh, unlike in 2020, we have an advantage that already the population has large immunity and especially what we call the T cell response immunity that is able to help people to protect people from severe disease. So that is actually hopeful for, for us uh, yeah, at the well, current moment. Yeah, that's very reassuring. And knowing all of that, though, does not mean that people should take care of themselves, particularly, specifically those who've got their immune systems being challenged. But generally, currently, Prof, we're not hearing a lot of uh, calls for people to vaccinate. But with the population having reached that level of, of, of protection, so to say, I guess uh, that's, uh, it's a question of being aware and staying vigilant. Absolutely. I think um, at the moment, really, we are not making any calls for, for panic at all. But uh, we do want to make sure that people who are older and people who uh, have risk factors are protected. People who have a, a weak immune system for any reason or immune suppression, they are also protected, um, which really is about making sure that they are vaccinated and if perhaps they are tested positive, they receive the care that they need. Uh, because in those people, we may still see uh, adverse outcomes uh, like hospitalization. But in the general population, really, uh, we can say that uh, things are under control, even though we are seeing increasing numbers. And the numbers have been increasing for a while, for, for a few weeks now. But uh, because we are not seeing a lot of severe disease, uh, really, there's no need to, to panic. However, I would really, as, as you say, encourage people with risk factors to make sure that they are vigilant and also for everyone to just uh, monitor the, the news around the surveillance. And in case we have something that is uh, concerning, I'm sure that uh, the minister will, will announce. Thank you very much for your time and explanation and for reassuring us uh, that uh, while there is this uh, new COVID strain that's been picked up, uh, it's not widespread at all. People should remain calm. No need to panic. That's Professor Musa Mushabela from the University of KwaZulu-Natal.